Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've been building this little one page scrolling site here. We've done the hero section, about us section, little services section, team section, little animated project section. And in the last video, we did our testimonial section. In this one, we're gonna do a full width portfolio with pop out images that you can display your projects. And in future videos, we're gonna do the contact form and also a live full width Google map. So let's get started. In this one, we're gonna do the full width portfolio. So let's go to the site we were working on. I'm gonna enable the visual builder. Okay, well, let's go down to where we wanna work. There's where we left it. I'm gonna add a new section for our full width portfolio. So I'm gonna click on the row down here. I'm gonna use a regular section for this. We are gonna make it full width. If you use a full width section, you've got a few less widgets to play with. So I'm gonna use a regular one and make it full width. Just like all the other sections, I'm gonna add a single column, single row, so we can put our title in from the library. And in our second video, we saved our title to the library so we could reuse it. Anybody doesn't know how to do that, just watch the second video. I'm going to use this module right here. And there it is right there. For anybody that doesn't have it in the library, it's 50 pixels, default blue, uppercase, with a bit of text shadow there. Great. And of course, I want to change this. So I'm going to just put my cursor beside it. And let's call it portfolio. And down below, I want a full width portfolio gallery. So I'm going to hit the little green button there to add a new row. Again, I'm going to use a single row, single column. And I'm going to use the gallery module. And there it is right there. Now I want to make this full width and we can add some images from our library and show off the work that we've done perhaps or the jobs or projects that we've done. So let's choose the images we want. I'm gonna hit on the little plus button there. I'm gonna add eight images. I'm gonna click on the first one and the last one. If you hold the shift down, it'll highlight all of those. If you wanna uncheck one, just hit control and you can uncheck it. Hit control again and it'll reselect it for you. I'm gonna add all of those. And as you can see, if I roll that up a bit, it's added them down below. But it's put in a little title there. I don't want that. And it's only showing four of them. You can move them around by simply left clicking, selecting them, and move them to where you want them. I'm gonna leave it default order. I wanna show eight, I think, because I put eight in there. And I'm gonna make it into this full width gallery too. If we go down to elements, I don't want the titles and things there. So I'm going to turn off my title and caption. And I don't need to show any pagination. You can if you've got more than eight images there. You could load up 20 images and decide to just display eight or something. Then you'd have at pagination at the bottom to show more. I'm going to keep mine to eight though. So I can turn the pagination off. Great. Well, if we go down to link, I want mine to pop out into a light box. So I'm not actually going to put any link in the modules whatsoever there. That way, when I click on them, they're going to pop out into a light box, which is a larger ver version of the image, and it's going to blank out the background a little bit with an overlay. Great. Well, you can choose a background down below, and you've got all the usual options. You've got color, gradient, image, video, background pattern, or background mask there. But again, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to color my section at the end of this so I don't need a background in here. Great. Well, we've got what we need in there. Over in the design, you can decide what layout you want. Grid layout's good for me, but, but uh, if you wanted a slider, that would give you a single image that just revolves through each slide. And you can paginate with some little arrows that pop up. They're hard to see, but there are little arrows there. 
and you can decorate the arrows how you want. But I want mine as a grid, so I'm going to leave it on the grid there. You can choose to have an overlay on the image itself, which is a color that pops up when you hover over the image there. And also an icon. So I'm going to put a little eyeball icon on mine to indicate it's something to look at. Overlay icon color, I'm going to make it white. Overlay background color, let's make it a, a sort of dark but not real black overlay. So I'm going to take the opacity down a little bit here. And I'll demonstrate this in a moment. And for the icon, I want an eye. There's a lot of icons to choose from there. I'm just going to type in a search and that's going to do me fine. Great. That way when we roll over it, we're going to have a little eyeball there that we can click on and it's going to darken out with our little overlay color out there. Now you can make your image rounded and oval shape using these borders here. I'm going to leave mine just as they are. I don't want any borders on them and I don't want any box shadow on them. Great. Okay, well let's make this full width. And I actually want these images touching each other. So I'm gonna save this, and we're gonna go into the row that they're sitting in. We just click on it, it's the green border is the row. The green tab is how you edit the row. I'm gonna make this full width by hitting the little cog. I'm gonna to go to design and sizing. I'm going to use a custom gutter width. I'm going to put this on. The gutter width is the space that's to the left, right, up and down of these. That's a, Those are the gutters. I don't want any space, so I'm going to take this all the way down to one. All the way left there. So they're actually touching like that. That works for me. Fantastic. And if you've got slightly different images, you can equalize the column widths there if you want to. Great. Well, now I actually want to make make this full width. So down in width just below, I'm going to take the slider up to 100%. I'm going to copy the 100% there, control C. I'm going to paste it in the max width down below, control V. Or you can just type it in. And as you can see, we've got a nice full width gallery section there. Fantastic. Well, that's going to work for me, but I actually want to change the color of this whole section, perhaps to this blue, just to break it up from the section above. And that's entirely up to you, obviously. So to do that, let's save our little row settings here. We'll go into the actual section, which is a blue tab up at the top here. And I just clicked in the white space above. And I'm gonna go into background. And again, you've got all the regular background options. I'm simply gonna turn mine blue. And I'm gonna to wanna to change that writing to a light color for our little title there. And as you can see, we've got a bit of blue at the bottom. If you wanted to, you could end it there without the blue. Simply go to your section design. Oh, we've got spacing. And we could take the padding off of the bottom if you didn't want that there by simply putting a zero in there. A little bit left over, that's in the row. If you want to still get rid of that, we can go into the row itself, the green tab. Here's our row. And do exactly the same thing, go into the design spacing, padding bottom, zero. And that's touching the bottom of the, or the top of the footer there, or the top of the next section. But we still got our blue in the top. Now I just need to make our writing light in color. So I'm gonna go into the module, the dark tab, by clicking on it. Hit the little cog for this one. We can go over to design, or you can hit the little Paintbrush icon over here will take us straight to that title, which is an H2. I'm going to make mine white. And there we have it. Let's just save our changes to see what this is going to look like on the front end. Let's save the text settings. Save the page changes. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the visual builder. And we can roll on down to where we were working. There's our little portfolio section, the blue one. When I hover over, we've got this little eyeball icon and a little overlay that's darkening the background out slightly when we hover over it. Of course, when we click on one of these, it's gonna pop out into a light box. You can close it. Obviously, that was a smaller image. 
we've got nice large images for our light box here to perhaps show off your work or your job or whatever it is you want to show off with your portfolio. So there you have it guys, there's a full width portfolio section. And when we've done all of our sections here, we're going to add a menu to actually link them up so we can scroll to each of them. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you have any questions at all, drop them below and I'll do my best to do a demo video for you. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.